we're going to recognize someone who had one of those memorable finishes on the highlight reel. He uh, did so in absolute style. He came across unforgettably uh, by hmm, winning the race and then uh, one-upping himself by dropping down on one knee and proposing to his uh, fian- his girlfriend at the time, Julia, Patrick Lunga, our two-time Ironman world champion. There he is on camera. Patrick, thank you so much for being here. How are you? Yeah, thanks for the invitation. Um, I'm good. Um, yeah, um, happy to be back on your broadcast. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's so sad not to be on the big island. But um, all, all in all, I'm good and healthy. And I think that's the most important uh, thing these days. Oh, I'm 100%. called Patrick. I'm called Patricky Lange. Patricky, yeah. <laughs> Patricky. It's just Patricky. our little pet name for you. Don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> it's kind of um, um, Hawaiian a little yeah. bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, Patrick, you just you just announced a couple days ago on social media that you're calling it a wrap for 2020. Uh, how will this year's off-season look different, given that we didn't have all that much of an on-season? Um... Uh, can you repeat the question? Because I was so into that Patrick thing. Um, so I didn't, <laughs> sorry. Sure, oh, no problem. I, so I, I was, understand. I was, I was stalking you on social media, and I saw that you just announced you're calling it a wrap on 2020, uh, going into your off season. And I'm just curious how this year's off season will look somewhat different than other years because we never had a, a traditional on season. Yeah, that's right. Um, especially we have. Um, 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 a really, really beautiful um, uh, late summer, um, autumn days uh, here in, uh, in in the mountains where we live. So I do a lot of hiking. Um, I go to places where obviously I cannot go during um, my training period, and it's um, it's it's so cool to just you know. Um, uh, do some something different and and see the beauty of the nature and um, I'm 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 really enjoying um, uh, this lifestyle at the moment and um, yeah it's it's a time where we obviously um, normally are not here so it's 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 yeah it's kind of cool to to enjoy that. Oh, for sure. I I can uh, understand that 100%. Um, So let's do this. We're going to take you down a peg. And I know this is a hard question you've answered before, but last year, so tough. And I just want to ask, like, what's it like, the internal debate before you had to pull out as defending champion on course? So just walk us through that. How hard was that? Were you really just, I mean, just walk us through that. That's got to be a difficult moment, clearly. But if you could share with us, we'd appreciate it. (laughs) Yeah, it's um, uh, 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 obviously it's it's one of the toughest moment in my uh, whole career. So, um, um, but I I worked on it, so I'm I'm happy to talk you through. And you. <laughs> uh, I think it's just you know it's it's normal. It's it's just uh, the athlete's life. You have highs and you have lows, and um, obviously. The highs had been really high, as we see in the pictures uh, on on the left. I mean, that's that's mo- that these these are moments. I mean, that completely redefined my life, um, and I'm, I'm I'm so happy to 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 um, have experienced all these great memories and all the the great journey I had on this past. And um, on the day. Uh, um, on the race day 2019, um, yeah, I said before I woke up and I had a little fever, um, some shivers, and um, yeah, and when I look back, I, I think I made the wrong decision by taking um, some um, uh, fever reduction, um, like painkillers. I mean, obviously they are not forbidden; they're not on the list. Um, that's 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 for sure. Um, we always have to to keep an eye on that. But um, I think as soon as the um, the, uh, the the you know the the the, the pills they uh, when they uh, lost the um, the function I don't know how to say yeah, that that's yep, right yep. <laughs> it, um, uh, the fever come back came uh, came back so um, the temperature was rising um, on the on the highway 
and also my my body temperature just went through the, through the roof and um i had i had blackouts and i, I mean at that moment i they, there was no different uh, and no other choice than pulling out of the race because um i want to come back to the big island i want to to race there again and um uh it was just a point where like i, I my, my gut feeling told me you're about to risk your career so you better pull out and um uh, looking back it was the right decision and maybe it would be um the right decision not even to start because obviously i also learned in my youth that uh, I, I never did a race with painkillers before and uh, it was just it was just also a little bit um you ha you have a certain pressure going into the race when you're having um um when you are uh um uh, allowed to to wear number one in this special race and i mean that that the whole race means the world to me that the sport uh means the world to me and um i just i i thought uh, i i had I, I want to to at least try and and, and do everything everything i could but yeah, looking back, um, it was just the, the maybe the wrong decision. Or well, not Patrick, maybe. Yeah. yeah, we had um, we had Jan Ferdano on the show just a, just a bit ago, and we were talking to him about some of his setbacks and, and the positive that comes out of that, and that there is no success without some degree of failure. So talk to us about the upside of that disappointment in 2019 and the, the kind of fire it puts in your belly as we head into Kona in 2021. Definitely, um, uh, it just um, set a whole um, a process in uh, in uh, in gear. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, so I changed coach. Um, I I knew okay. I really had to work on on the mental aspects also of of the sport because um, I never had talked and talked to to a um, um, to a mental coach before. I, just decided, okay, I, with all that pressure coming um, as a defending champion and, and et cetera, uh, I needed someone to help me in that um, particular um, um, space. And all this process just, I think, helped me to um, hopefully come back better and stronger. And um, so for me, uh, I, I made huge... Uh, for me, I, I felt I made made a huge progress over the winter, and um, had had a clear mind, was really focused, um, had really good training results, and I wanted to show it. I want to go out and uh, race again. And obviously, then 2020 happened. Um, I think we talked enough about it. So now it's it's all eyes on uh, 2021, and I'm and I'm really really looking forward for it. And uh, Actually, I, I can't wait um, to, to be back racing. Oh, we can't wait to watch you race again, Patrick. And let's go to a very, uh, Patricky, we go to a very <laughs> positive moment now. <laughs> so uh, 2018, you cross the line, the highest of highs. You've just won for the second time. And then you won up yourself. You proposed to Julia. How nervous were you at that moment? Like, just talk to that uh, point for a second, if you would. <laughs> Yeah, I love to be a uh, lot, love to think back um, to that moment. And the, the funny thing is, um, when I think back, all the cameras, all the spectators, <laughs> like even Mike Riley, I, I did not, I did not even like see them. I it was so it was, it was purely a moment for just Julia and me. And um, yeah, it, it just felt um, amazing. And um we we had such a um, yeah such an exciting year and um, we went through also to through so much ups and downs and it just it was not it was not the, this this easy little uh, you know building and everything's fine and it it was not actually it was not so hard and um, she she helped me and um, that was the more yeah I mean that the whole year was actually the the. There was no question for it that she she is uh, the right person to be on my side, and um, yeah, it was well, a super exciting moment. A little, Beautiful, a little risky because you could have single handedly cleared the finish line at the Ironman World Championship if she had said no. 
<laughs> oh, I'm joking. Just joking. Oh, I, I, mean, I mean, seriously, it, it, I mean, you never know. <laughs> you, never know. You, you never know. It was a confident move, and I'm glad it worked out for you. So looking forward, Patrick, to 2021, have you started to map out race plans? Obviously, there's still a bit of uncertainty, but some races starting to come back. Are there races, if you could script your race schedule, where might we see you compete in 2021? Mm. Yeah, I, um, I did race um, a couple of weeks ago in, in Poland, 70.3. Um, super cool to be back racing and um, just experience the, the race atmosphere. Um, obviously missing spectators, but um, for me it was really important also going into next season to have done at least one race. Um, and... Um, yeah, you, we 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 need to have uh, a look in, into into all the race data we, we collect um, um, where we need to improve where where also our training um, also showed some some uh, benefits and some success and um, yeah we did that and we, we learned a lot so um, going into uh, the new season um, we. Um, you know, with with cancelling of Kona, it just opened another uh, um, some more options. I mean, normally we we race second weekend of October, then you go back to to Germany. You have all that appointments um, with the long flight and the jet lag. It's actually pretty pretty clear that you at least caught a little cold or something. So you lose time for training for regen regeneration and. Um, when you when you actually start training, you are, let's say, uh, at the beginning of December, somewhere around that time, and I think now we can start training middle of October, and um, it's so cool to um, have that one and a half extra month for your for for your preparations because you can work on the small details of your body. Um, um, if if there is a little back issue, you work on that. You 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 go into the details of strength conditioning training. You you really focus on how to do a deadlift, for example. You know, and you, you work on it. And um, you, I think it just opens so so many cool um, options to um, go into the new season and be even um, even better prepared than you would have been prepared normally with, with a normal race. So I try to um, have the, the, the advantage out of the time that um, has been uh, gifted to us in, in this time. Great answer, Patrick. As always, it's it's been great catching up with you. Can I ask you just maybe one question about our theme this year? It's A Ola Mao, which just means keep on living. So if we talk about keep on living, what does that mean to you right now, today? <laughs> um, I just saw the um, the pictures of uh, the the finish line in, in 2018, and um, I saw my mom there, and um, yeah, <laughs> I, I I did not talk uh, publicly um, about it before, and. Um, uh, she she died uh, at cancer from cancer in February, so <laughs> it's actually yeah. Um, I think you know what I want to say, and that's yeah, it's a cool um, motto, and um, um, yeah, <laughs> M oh. means pretty much to me. <laughs> it means a lot. Patrick, I got to give you a big virtual hug and I, I keep putting these tough questions. You're a champ and you're a great guy. And I, I, I really appreciate you being here and being vulnerable with us and sharing this okay. uh, high highs and low lows. Uh, I really, I really appreciate that. And I speak, I think for everyone and I say thank you and much aloha. I don't want to rush you off, but I, I sure appreciate everything that you've sa shared with us today. And uh, we'll say thanks for your time. And forever in our hearts, Patricky. <laughs> Patricky, to end on a high note. <laughs> Patricky out. <laughs> yes. Awesome, brother. Thank you so much. And you have a wonderful afternoon, evening there in Germany. Thanks for calling. Always appreciate. And um, big hug. See awesome. You soon. Thanks. Take care. Bye.